Hey everybody! Well today I thought we could take a look at this really cool robot. This is called the Sit Down and Stand Up Robot. Now this was made by John Rigg. Uh, those of you unfamiliar, John Rigg has a channel here on YouTube called Robot Hut. He's had a channel for a long, long time. I've been a huge fan of his for many, many years. Now if you think that I'm a crazy robot guy, <laughs> You ought to see John. You ought to see his collection. It's just the most amazing collection you'll ever see. So John actually has a barn full of vintage toy robots from decades ago, all original, uh, all the way up to today. He's got the original boxes, um, wind-up robots, battery-operated robots. He also has full-size replicas of the Lost in Space robot, Robbie, Gort, Huey, Dewey, and Louie from Silent Running. Um, uh, he has the Robbie little... A vehicle that you saw him driving around in Forbidden Planet. He has a, a working version of that with Robbie driving it. It's pretty amazing. Uh, he's got Tobor and he's even ha he even has a, uh, a robot band. There's like three different robots that actually play music. And so I, one of these days I would love to see his collection. So I've been a huge fan of John's for many years and he's the one who made this robot right here. Uh, now I, I remember seeing John originally uh, in a book called You Can Build the Lost in Space Robot, and I'll show you that real quick. So here is the book. This is actually the fourth revised edition. The book originally came out in 1998. It was done by Flint Mitchell. Um, I hope Flint Mitchell's still around. I don't know if he is. Uh, last time I heard he was not doing well. That was many years ago. So Flint, if you're out there, uh, I hope you're well. But uh, this book was kind of what inspired me to start building my robot. And this was in the very early days of the Lost in Space robot building because a lot of people were just kind of starting to build their own. Now, um, there's an article in here that talks about, this one has a little bit extra stuff in it compared to the original. But here's the one uh, article with John Rigg. It says, Building the Lost in Space Robot, a step-by-step -step guide. So he was one of the first ones to ever build a Lost in Space robot. And this is before all the parts were available on the B9 Robot Builders Club. And it, I think it was probably before, or maybe it was just when the Robot Builders Club was being formed. Because I, when I joined it, there was only about 25 of us in there. Here's a nice picture you can see of John's robot collection, just a little bit of it. You can see his full-size Gort and the uh, uh, Lost in Space robot. There's even a time machine. I, you should see his collection. It is absolutely fantastic. So he just kind of gives some of the uh, the things that he talked about and uh, you know how he built the robot and the construction of it as you can see here when he was building the uh, the treads and stuff. You know nowadays you can buy this stuff all pre-made. So there's a picture of him. Let's see where is that? I think it's on page uh, 43 here. Let me get to that page and you can see him standing with the bubble. Here he is right here and that's him when he uh, blew the bubble that was before anybody was able to make those we now have a couple guys that can make those but that was when he was making those himself I mean the guy is very talented with all this stuff it's crazy he had to make everything from scratch and then here he is standing next to his robot right there that was one of the first pictures I ever saw of him and that's when I found out oh wow somebody actually built the robot so that was my inspiration for wanting to build one of these guys, and my dad and I took about 10 months, but we built my robot eventually. But that was the first time I ever saw John. Now I remember seeing John appear in a several different TV shows over the years. One of them was called FX, The Collectibles Show. It was on the FX cable channel. I used to love that show. People would bring in all their um, interesting collectibles or antiques and then they had people that would they had appraisers there that would appraise it for them and give them all kinds of great information and um, uh, they would also go all over the country and find people that had extreme collections and go visit their house and they went to uh, I remember seeing John Riggs uh, collection it was one of my favorite episodes because he gave a tour of all of his robots and so I always remembered him and now here it is uh, he built this robot. Now, I'm going to put a link in the description on how he built this. He did a three-part video on how he built this. I, th I think he designed this whole thing. I think he designed the robot, and he, he, he gives the link to uh, Thingiverse, where you can download the files for this and print this yourself. And he made uh, two of these. I think this was the original version, and then he made a silver version. And then he uh, later added in... Originally, it was just the robot and the little box that he sits on. 
And then he later added this console and the robot uh, can move this little lever right here. So uh, let me turn it on and I'll show you what he does because it's really cool. Okay, so I turned the lights down so we can see all of his lights better. Here's the switch on the back. And here we go. So here he is. You can see he's sitting down. And he stands up. He just sits down and stands up. But it's really a smooth mechanism the way he did this. It's very, very cool. Now you can see the light blinking right here. Let me turn the lights down just a little bit so we can see those lights a little better. So you can see the blinking one. Now you can see his mouth. If you watch the mouth, see how it opens and closes? He's got some red painted in there. And when he gets up, the mouth closes again. He has a little mechanism that does that. The eyes are nice and bright on the front. <laughs> it's really neat. And then on the front of the console here, I'll get a close-up of all of this. You can see the blinking lights on the console. I really am glad that he added that feature. It gives the uh, left arm something to do. And then, of course, this one on the right is connected to the motor on the inside. It's a really cool mechanism on how he decided um, to design this and how to make it. <laughs> okay, so let me show you some close-ups of him. All right, so we'll start with his eyes. I think he just painted the pupils on there. But see how the mouth is opening and closing right there? It's kind of cool looking the way that moves. <laughs> He's got kind of like these vents on the front of his chest. And now you can kind of see how the legs operate. There's two springs on the lower section of his legs. They're in the calf area. And that's what puts the tension on his legs to make him rise. So the motor is actually not making him uh, stand up. It's actually the springs on the inside. The motor actually it works against the springs in order to make him sit down. You can see all the knee mechanisms going on right here. And he shows how to build all of this. He uses some pins to put everything together. You can see some of them right there. And he'll show you how the uh, inside mechanism works down in there. Here on the back you can see it says sit and stand mechanical man robot hut. The motor is very nice and quiet in there. So he redid the base on this one um, to add, like I said, the, uh, the console. Here's that console. See how the light, the red light is kind of doing that, its own little blink. And then you got the red ones in the corner that are doing their blinking. And then there is the blue light on the side. I like the futuristic look. It looks kind of retro, you know, I love it. I like the old retro robots. Here's the other side, so you can see how that looks. It's very cool. Yeah, when I saw that he made this, I was like, oh my gosh, I, I would really love to have one of these. Now, John, uh, he doesn't make these for sale. He, he, it's not like he makes a whole bunch of these things to sell. Um, but he does have the files, like I said, on Thingiverse if you want to make your own. And you can, if you're good with electronics, you can hook all of that stuff up. I'm not good at any of this stuff, so that's why I... I asked him if he'd be willing to sell one of his robots. He do, I don't think he normally does that, but he was very gracious and was willing to sell the white robot here, and I was really glad to get him because, um, to me, this is really special. As I mentioned, I, I've been a big admirer of John's for many, many years, and to get something like this that he made is uh, a really, really special thing. It's such a cool robot. I, I just love it. I think he's awesome. I'll show you what the bottom looks like real quick. All right, now looking at the bottom here, I asked if he could sign this for me, and he, he said he usually just initials this stuff if he ever sells it. So that's his initials, and 2023, this is the number one that he's made of this one. So I have the very first one, which is really cool. So this is where the springs are located. You can see they're kind of looped around these rods, and those are the springs that add the tension to his legs. He also upgraded this one. Originally it ran on three AA batteries and then uh, he added a fourth one to make it, I guess, more powerful, uh, make it move a little bit quicker. So there's a four battery pack inside there. And then he also put a battery bar on here, which reminds me of the old Lost in Space uh, Remco robot. <laughs> but that uh, just, you can pull that out and then snap it in. It holds everything in place when you need to change the batteries. And then here you can see the way he made this little wire go through a little uh, cutout like you see here. And then he, he, this is where he added the extra bit for the console. So as I mentioned, uh, the console wasn't original to the design. Now I think on Thingiverse, um, I think he said that he 
has the file for the robot, and I don't know if he's added the file for the console yet. You'll have to look on there, because he just recently posted these videos just not too long ago. But, um, oh, I got his arm in the up position there. <laughs> but I absolutely love this thing. I think it just looks so cool. Very reminiscent of the old uh, vintage robots that we grew up and played with when we were kids. So there we go, the sit-down and stand-up robot designed by John Rigg. This is such a cool robot. Now, um, like I mentioned, uh, John doesn't build these for sale or anything, so I don't want everybody to go, uh, you know, attacking his you know, YouTube channel, asking him to build all, a bunch of these, because he, he doesn't do that. I, I don't think he does anyway, um, and I think it would take a lot of time, judging by how long it took him to build this one. So, uh, but if you want to get the files, I'll put the... Uh, link to John's video part one and then he's got the Thingiverse link in his uh, in his video and then you can download the files and print this yourself and then if you know anything about electronics you can do all of this stuff going on in here I um, I, I th it looks like a relatively simple circuit and you know he shows which motor that he used as well and he explains things really well in there but you know I don't have the know-how to do any of this stuff so <laughs> I always have to rely on somebody to to come up with this stuff but I just I love it I think it's great and I think John did a fantastic job on this so thank you to John Rig if you're out there John if you're out there thank you for uh, letting me have one of these I really appreciate it and it's really cool to have an original piece that he made because to me he is uh, somebody that I've admired for many many years all right, well, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. I'd very much appreciate it. And thank you very much for watching. And until the next time, have a good one.